All right. I, Oregon Ducks. The quack attack, the Oregon Ducks, 9-4 and four last year, 5-4 and four in the conference. Returning starters, they got, check this out. Bet you never heard this before. 12 returning starters on offense. They had two guys that, that kind of split starting played, time. Played enough minutes to where they both considered yeah. starters. Offense has got, uh, or sorry, the defense has got seven back. Uh, Experience-wise, number one in the conference, number one in the country. I was just about to say, that has to be one in the country. They are number one in the country. Their over-under is eight and a half. Over is minus 155. Under is plus 135. So they, of course, think that they will be nine and three at least, maybe yep. ten and two. Head coach Mario Cristobal has the most experienced team in the country and the number seven recruiting class in the country, along with the number one recruit in the country. Uh, the offense returns senior quarterback Justin Herbert, who, yes, everybody thinks he's fantastic, he's amazing, he should have gone to the NFL, et cetera. He had a few games where he was under a 70 QBR. I mean, he was yeah. he was not great all the time. But senior quarterback, that's always good to have, right? Uh, they've got 11 other players that started last year for the number 25 scoring offense. Number 25, that's pretty good. We think they're going to be better this year because of all of that experience. I think so. I, I think, think so, so, too. Uh, yeah. Number 55 total defense. They bring in ESPN number one recruit Kayvon Thibodeau to anchor the defensive line. Three out of four in the secondary are back. I don't know if that's a good thing or not because they were number 82 in passing defense last year. Uh, That front line makes that secondary better. Yeah. The offense has to find a way to score more. They lost four games. Um, I'm sorry, the schedule. It's not not the offense. It's the schedule. Schedule's difficult. They got road games at Stanford, at Washington, at USC, at Arizona State, and then a neutral site game against Auburn to kick things off. I'll tell you. I freaking love this team. I do, too. I do, too. I wonder if I love them more than you. You do because you hate one of the teams on the schedule. Yeah, maybe. That's it. Maybe. That's the answer. I've got them 11-1. and one. I knew that. <laughs> You've got them 11-1. and one. I've got them 10-2. and two. I've got the Auburn game, and you don't. Yeah. I that's pretty that. much it. I, 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 what, what's I just, the, what's I just the game seem that you've got them losing? You. What, what's the game you got them losing? Washington State. I got to beat Washington. I got them losing Washington State. I've got them losing at Washington, but I, I could see the Washington State game. I mean, it's at home. You you go on the road. You win a big game because at Washington is right after Colorado. That's right. Um, you know, I mean, the early part. Like, I think they're going to get some revenge on you, Stanford. This I, year. I think you go on the road. You beat who I think is up there with Oregon as the best team in the conference, not the division, the whole conference. Yeah, and. And I think you beat that team on the road. You come home, and there's always that little bit of a letdown. Okay, that, I can see that. I can see that. So I've got them eleven and one, eight and one. There's a lot of them. There's a lot of just Mike Leach blow it here too, though. I mean, you might be right. I'm not going to deny that. You might be right. Um, all right, so you've got them ten and two. You got them eight and one in conference. I think we really like this team. I really like this team.